Hi everyone, my name is Kelly Marriott and I'm the Life Skills Teacher at Blue Bonnet Elementary. Um, today I thought I would do a quick math lesson. Um, we're going to do some counting, we're going to do um, some more and less type things as we go along. Um, so your kids can do whichever piece they are able to do at this point in time. Um, I wanted to show you, I quickly just threw some things together that I had around the house and thought it might give you guys some ideas. Um, I had a clipboard. Um, I managed to have all, a lot of my Velcro at home, but you can just do this on your kitchen table. This is just for me to be able to show you guys. Um, I found some magnet letters. Um, the magnets weren't very strong or I would have used a cookie uh, baking sheet, which you can also use as well. Um, I pulled some of my kids' Legos for counters. Um, I made some quick flashcards. They're not beautiful, um, but they're, the, op the options are endless. Um, you could even use anything in your kitchen. Um, you could use this as an activity. After we do this, you guys can go find things to count. Um, so let's get started. So first, we're going to start by just counting. Um, let's count to 10 together. Ready? One. Two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. 6, 7, 8, 9, So this video, I'm only going to do numbers to 10 just to make it simple for my first one. Um, so let's get started. All right, so can anyone tell me what number this is? That's right, it's a 6. Can we match the 6? That's right. It's right here. So I'm going to pull my six and I'm going to move it over here. See, my Velcro is not very strong, but that's okay. And we're going to put it down here. Six. All right. Okay, so we have six. Um, how about this number? That's right. It's a three. Can you match the three? Yep, there it is. It's right up here. All right, so we're going to put our three right down here. Sorry, having some difficulties over here. Okay, so let's get started. Let's count. So we have a six and we have a three. I guess I shouldn't cover them, huh? Okay, so let's start by counting the six. Let's count six Legos. Ready? One. Hopefully they stay. Two, three, four, five, six. Is that six? One, two, three, four, five, six. We counted six. Okay, let's do our next number. We have a three. Let's count three Legos. One, two, three. Is that three? One, two, three. There it is, we counted three. Okay, so we're gonna start with more. Which number has more? Is six bigger or is three? Well, which one has more Legos? That's right, the number six. Great job. Okay, so let's try and do another one. Hopefully all my Velcro doesn't fall off. waiting for me to get all of my stuff off. Let's count to 10 again. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Okay, good job. Okay, so let's pick some new numbers. Can anyone tell me this number? That's right, it's a four. Can we match the four? Oh, 
There it is. You found the four. Good job. Four. Okay. Not this number. That's right. It's a two. Can you find a two? There it is. Right up there on the top. We have a four and we have a two. So let's count our Legos. Ready? One, two, three, four. Okay, let's count the two. One, two. All right, now this time we want to find the number that's less or smaller. Is four the smallest number or two? That's right, two is smaller. We have less amount of Legos. I hope that you found this video useful. Um, I'm still learning as well, so um, just keep watching and I'll keep uploading. Have a great day.